Hi guys, it's me Karen and we're going to do part three of Serenity Coloring Book by Anastasia Ellie Koldareva. <laughs> I got the last name from uh, Kenny. She kind of let me know how to pronounce it. So yay. <laughs> okay, this is the page we're doing and we are going to do her hair. You'll notice I did a little um, moon here. I'm going to do the colors kind of in a dark blue in the background, brown for the um, wood, black for all the birds, kind of a dark blue green sky color, like a, um, you know, kind of really dark for the um, lady that's here. And I'm going to do her, I've got my fingers crossed here. My daughter helped me figure this out because I couldn't figure out a color for her hair. And I told her what I wanted to do in the background. She said, why don't you try to do kind of a, a bright, magical hair color in the blue tones that kind of look like they glow. So give me some good wishes here because I don't know how <laughs> this is going to happen. So I got out um, baby blue and electric blue. I also have a very, very light blue in Neo color. And I also, because I don't know how I'm going to do this, I brought out the uh, light blue, what is this one called? Phthalo blue tint here. White, this is called white fine pearl medium. So it has kind of an iridescent shine to it. And then I have the colorless blender here. So, you would think, maybe, <laughs> I do have to giggle, with all this stuff, I might be able to get kind of a glowy look on her hair, possibly, looking for a tool that I can't find, so it must be on my desk somewhere, here we go, okay, need a new tip on that, so, I've never done this before, but I have to do her hair before I do the background because the background is either going to be done in Neo Colors or in Distress Ink, and I need to have her hair done first. <sighs> so, here we go. We're going to go into the baby blue and in the kind of darkest areas of her hair. Maybe I should get it down so you can see it a little better. How's that? Okay. I'll get this uh, color down here too. Okay. So, darkest kind of areas, we're going to pull out some of this light blue color, which it doesn't show up too light blue. There we go. Just kind of in all the uh, shadowy areas here. So we have a touch of blue and everything. We're also going to add this down into her clothes. So we're going to scoot you down here to the clothes area.
if we get it in her hair and stuff, that's okay. Because her hair is blue. <laughs> I will be making those beads a little different color, so we'll have to work on that. Okay, so now we kind of have this bluish hue going on. Just want to get it very lightly over all her hair. Okay, there. Okay, we're going to erase it out of the areas I went over. Well, let's break everything on my desk. Sorry. Everywhere I went over. So we must erase all this kind of stuff. Keep those white. Um, up there a little bit. There. Down here. And then we'll just dust it off. Probably got it all over the background again. Got a little in the um, bird here, so we'll just darken that up a little bit. Okay, I'm going to have to move the camera up so you can see what I'm going to do next. Or what I'm going to attempt to do. I have a picture um, I could probably show you. Let me close everything out. I have it up here so you don't see all that stuff. <laughs> Let me just tilt the camera up if I can. There we go. That is the color that I'm trying to get her hair. So we're going to see if we can do that. I highly doubt I'll get terribly close, but we are going to attempt it. Okay, so we want to add in a little bit of white. I have to keep moving everything because I just really moved my camera out of place. This is the white pearlescent color. <laughs> Never used this color yet. So we're going to throw it in there. And we'll see if it sparkles or shines in her hair. Put it in the top two up here, around the edges. Don't have a clue if it does anything, but it's there. Okay, so then we're going to take our little baby blue here. This is a color soft. I did have some questions whether you can use the color soft um, with the. I don't know if it was light fast or the luminance, but yes, these all work really nicely together. If I was smart, I'd go down and uh, spray this, but I'm going to see if we can brighten up some of this first. So we're going to add in some of the baby blue. Just kind of following some of the shadowy areas here. Not too close, but you know, close enough.
Yeah, I think I'm going to have to run down and I didn't put very much on, but it would be a little easier to color on this if that was already fixed. Use the fixative on it. I use a workable fixative. I'll leave it in the description box since I didn't before. And yes, you can. Another question I had was, can you work over the fixative? It's um, kind of what it's called, workable fixative. So you can put a layer down, color on top of it, put another layer down, do it again and again. I have not used more than, say, three layers. I'm sure you could probably use more than that, but I only use it really on top of the pastels. So we're going to get um, her like that, uh, kind of just blue shading. But I want to go down and spray it so that pastel doesn't get all over my hand. But I'm going to give you an idea there. So, so far, that's what we have. How I'm going to get it to glow? I don't know. <laughs> I think I have to add white in there, but we will figure that out in a bit. I'm going to go down and spray this and I'll be right back. Okay, she's all sprayed and she's more or less dry. So I'm going to bring in some electric blue. This is also a uh, color soft. And I'm going to add this in the darkest areas on top of where the gray is so we can get rid of the gray. up a little bit here on the paper. This is interesting paper. And those are just little balls. closer than that to see what I'm doing. I'm going to turn her so I can get a different angle on her hair up here. that. Those nice little high schoolers who love to drive their cars really fast. Up the hill. <laughs> Big waste of gas to me, but they're young. <laughs> They'll learn. <laughs> bit um, the darkness in there. I'm going to have to add a little white. I think I'll add a little more here. I don't think I used it here.
Okay. Back to the baby blue. And just kind of drag that up a little, lighten it a bit. some of this uh, in her shirt down here too. Whoops, that was a little dark, but that's okay. We're going to take my tiny eraser here and we're going to uh, clean up these little dots down in here if I can. Just a little bit. They have both uh, pastel and pencil on top, so I'm not sure how well they'll erase, but at least I'll be able to see them a little better. Okay, there we go. And then I think what I'll do is I have to pull this out a little bit further. The little plastic piece just comes out and you can pull the little, little tiny eraser out just a bit further. And then you click it back in and we have a bit more to use here. I'm going to take it Just add in a little bit more highlight in here. Take down some of that. It's just like doing it with the bird. You kind of pull some of that color out. I'm going to have to add in some white. I thought I would try some of this Arctic, which is the white blue, and see what it does. I want to, you know, turn on some light here. I don't know if that helps you at all. So what I'm going to do is run it on top of the blues that are there. It'll help blend the uh, darker blue in. Lighten it up a little bit.
I'm trying to remember which way those go. Gonna have to get that a little bit better. to get a little um, brighter. I mean, I know it's going to look brighter when we get dark background, but I want it to look a little prism white here. We're going to pull some of this in. Turn this so I can see what I'm doing. Knock back uh, just a little bit more of that color. And my cat is meowing at me. So I will do with him in just a minute. Hold on. Okay, kitty cat taken care of. My cat's a little strange. He, um... <laughs> Oh, I go about saying that. Oh, that looks like one of those balls. I should probably leave it alone. He has a different way of drinking water than normal cats. When we got him, I was told he was eight weeks old, but we're pretty sure he was uh, more like four. I don't think he was old enough to leave his mommy. So we had two when we had him first. He, he didn't know how to eat, so we had to teach him basically how to eat food. And put a little of that um, baby blue in here. I want to get rid of that gray lines, but I don't think I can unless I go in with a Posca. These are too light of colors to do that. Anyway, so we uh, hand fed him with baby food first and taught him how to eat and we thought we did a pretty good job with the water part, but he has, he likes to drink out of a faucet or a fountain type thing, but now he has decided that he likes um, the bathtub in my daughter's bathroom. So you have to pour a little water down and he will lap that up. But he can't drink out of a bowl for some reason. He has asthma and that could be a part of it. He also can't see the water, so he has to feel it and he doesn't really care for the feel of water. <laughs> Put it that way. So why don't we take care of him the way we can. <laughs> a little old boy so just adding in some white highlights in there okay I think that's as good as I'm gonna get I want to add a little um, really dark color in there so I think we have don't want to do midnight black I think that's a little bit much. We have a dark indigo here. And those do have some little dark marks. So I'm going to just bring a little bit in here. works.
Okay. I think that's all right. I may go through this with a little bit of a Posca. I'm just going to blend that just so it doesn't look like I put down a blue line. I mean, we all know I did, but <laughs> just a little white on that and it'll soften it up a bit. Okay. We're going to leave it alone so I can come back to it after I get the background down. I have to do uh, some of this woodwork. So I'm going to show you... Uh, Oh heck, this side over here. We have browns out on the table. What do I have? Sandstone, taupe, chocolate, and I'll grab a, another brownish color over here. That's red. I'm not going to use that. Look brown. Natural brown. We'll go with something like this for our woodwork on the side. So we'll just start with the sandstone, which is the lightest color, and put some highlights there on the wood. We've got a moon glow coming down, so anything that's up and kind of sharp or laying down like this would have a tiny bit of a highlight on it. And you know how I do wood. 15 layers of different colors. <laughs> so we'll lay one down. Do that all the way around. Go in with the next color. We're going to go in with natural brown. And just add it in there too. I like to hold the pencil way back and kind of shake my hand while I'm doing it. Try not to get it too even. So I want the texture in the wood. And you know, it's got knots and all that other stuff in it, so make sure you get that. Okay, next color. Put that one on my desk so I don't use it again. We'll go in with some of this taupe. It's got a nice sharp point. And, uh, can't see those terribly well. Then we'll go in with chocolate. Sharpen that up a little bit. I'm going to put the camera down just a little so you can see a little bit better and I can see a little bit better. Chocolate's going to be a nice dark color. Okay, sorry about that. Phone call came in. Just going to add the dark color in. Kind of still doing the wiggling of the hand to get variation of color.
If you keep turning the pencil, you can get a nice sharp edge. You can draw on these and bring them out, give them extra life if you want. It'll cover up the gray that's in there. Unless you like the gray. <laughs> We'll bring in one more color too. I want it dark, but I don't know if I want it that dark all, all over the place. Okay, something in that line. We need one more brown, and let's see what we have here. I'm going to bring in some brown ochre, and we're just going to kind of go over it now that we have enough color down there. Just bring it in and go up the trunks a little bit. And then a, let's see, we'll pull out these two. We can throw a little orange in there if we want. This is a Persian orange. I'll be putting all these numbers down. It's just whatever color you like. You can make them darker, you can make them lighter, redder, browner. All depends on you. This I brought out was a burnt sienna. Just here and there. Ok, 
Okay, then we'll go back in with the natural brown. And then on top of everybody, Okay, so that's how the other side of the branch is going to go too. I'll do that part off camera. The uh, crows are just going to be done in silhouette black. So we have a crow here. We have some lines here. We can erase those with the, um, it's a black prisma by the way. You can do this with a marker if you want. I'm just going to color it in and then use an eraser or a white pencil and bring in some tail feathers there. But they're all going to get done the same way and since I have the brown pencil I can go over that tree trunk a little bit better. Okay and then let's see I've got the tip on that. It's got blue on it. I have to get that off. And I can add the lines for the tip of the tail there. That's about all we need. And when we do the one behind it, I'm going to leave a little space there. Is a light gray and the rest of it dark. So you can tell the difference between the two birds. But I mean there's no definition on these birds at all so we're just going to do them in black. Gray there and then we go down to his tail. And that's basically how those are going to be done. There's quite a few in the trees. So I'm going to stop the camera now and finish up the rest of the wood on this side and then we will come back and do um, the background. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay guys we're back. The wood's all done and the blackbirds are all finished. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little um, Posca in her hair. So I'm going to get you down for that a little bit closer. So I'm just going to take it in some areas here, bring it up, try to cover up those little gray lines that I don't need. Get the cat hair off my page, sorry. <laughs> so just kind of blending it up there. I'm going to go around in these little curls too. Don't want to harsh there, so I'm just going to blend it. I had to pat the kitty cat and I got hair all over me. <laughs> Sorry about that. So we're just going to blend it in. See, there's a gray line there we want to get rid of, so we'll just go over it. This is tedious, but I want to get rid of those lines a little bit more. You can do this with paint if you don't have a Posca pen. You could just use your white acrylic paint. Nice little paintbrush. And 
and we'll go down this braid here and you can see how that's gonna go see this one I'm trying to get close enough so I can see it one side you really should go up all that one side Maybe we'll bring a little hair down here in her face. We didn't mean to do that. sharper. I have not done her eyebrows either, so I'm going to have to do that. eyebrows put this Posca away we did it in um, <laughs> the baby blue and the electric blue a little of that around her eyes too If you want to uh, lighten any of that white that we put down or change the color of it instead of having it white we can put the blue on it the baby blue do 
just lightly go over it. If you're hearing a louder noise this time, that's my computer. It's working on something in the background. <laughs> okay, there we go. I think this one needs to be a little lighter or a little darker, not so white. Okay. So, what is next is our um, inking of our background or doing it in uh, uh, Neo Colors, I'm not quite sure. So, I will get out the product I'm going to use and I'll be right back. Hold on. Okay, guys, we are going to um, do a little bit of both, I think. I think I have a good water brush around here somewhere. I'm going to start off around the moon with the um, light cobalt blue hue. And we're just going to color around here. I don't know how much of this I want, but I'm trying to go with a glow around here. don't want to get too much in everywhere else. So I'm just coloring sloppily. This is a water <laughs> thing and hopefully that this um, paper <laughs> doesn't have a problem with this going down. We will find out, won't we? If it does, I'll just put on a couple coats. No biggie. Next, we're going to go in with um, what is this? Light blue. So it's going to get a little darker out here. If I'm careful, I can go through the brushes. Or branches, brushes. We're going to see if this even um, will work here. So I have my um, Pentel uh, small brush. And we're just going to wet this and pull it around a little bit. Go up to the pencil mark. We don't want to get too much into it. But I want to be able to erase it. We'll see how well this works. Like I said, if it doesn't do what I want it to do, it's no big deal. We will go in with Distress Ink. I'm just going to go over that branch. Kind of looks like a little of that. Hmm, brown might be picking up. I don't know. Just want some of that color in here. Blue in here, and then we worked up here. Just going to blend that out. Not on the blackbird. <laughs> yeah, I think Distress Ink would probably be better, but I wanted to get some of these colors down around here. I don't have a really light, light, light blue in the Distress Ink, so... There we go. Okay, we have a kind of a light blue going on out here. Maybe we will get out a sheet, plastic sheet. The only one I have out here on my desk is gigantic, so I want to set it on this side. We're going to take um, some of that. Boy, if you guys could see my desk. Some of the light, uh, what is it called, a light cobalt blue hue over here. And we're going to pick some up 
with the um, brush and just put it in here. It's a really light color. So we're just going to add it. Just got my pencil right through it in these areas in here. If you're wondering if you can hear the noise in the background, I don't know if you can, but um, carpets are being cleaned. But I wanted to finish this, so I thought I would go ahead and at least try to get some color down here. I'm going to try to leave those um, pearly things kind of white. Then I just want to get this color down on the paper out in here somewhere. And it can be uh, messy because we're going to put ink on top of it and add water and all this other stuff to it too. We're going to play today. Let's see how much water this book can take. Okay, well, I'm just around her hair there. All right, I'm going to let that dry. I guess I could mix in some of that darker blue. And the darker blue is, uh, again, it's called light blue. I don't know how light that is. But we'll throw some of that in here. It's pretty dark blue for being light blue. Don't want it on the birds again. But it can go out in here in this area down in this area. Don't want it too much on the branches. And down in here. I don't know, might not even in where you can see me. Sorry. Just want to get the color down in here. If you get it on an area you don't want uh, any on, just wipe off your brush and go over these in water before it dries and get it off. So we're just going to add the darker blue in here, here and there, I'm not trying to be precise. It's going to kind of be a foggy type thing. We'll put some on this side. bit more up here. Around these little guys up towards the top. Okay. Now I'm going to let it dry. <laughs> and I'll be back in just a little bit. Okay. We are pretty dry, but I'm going to work down here first. I've got a bunch of Distress Ink out, blue tones, and some green tones. So we're going to start off with the blue. I'm going to um, double check these colors before I put them down on the paper. I have black on this. Can't use that. So we got to find a blue one. 
Okay, here we go. Oh, this blue one's not any good. <laughs> I need to get a few more of these little guys. Okay, blue one here. And what we're going to do is uh, just test these out here to see which colors go nicely with her hair color. That one will definitely work. That one is Faded Jeans. We have Stormy Sky, which is a nice darker color, also work. And my favorite, Broken China, I use a lot of. Can go nicely with the light colors, so those are a good choice. My other favorite is the um, Peeled Paint, which is a nice green, so I can add that here and there. And because this is a very dark, don't want to do that here. A dark green, I might add that in. This is the peeled paint. Either one of those will work with the blue tones. So I'll just add it here and there. Maybe also have my favorite <laughs> black soot, which I will go around the edges on. Maybe prop, put some in. So you can see the bottom of the page. We're going to go in with, um, what did I do? Fave Fruited Jeans first. It's a nice dark color. Put that up here. Wipe off what's on this thing. Fill it up. It doesn't take much to fill it up. Always dot it down first. Put a piece of paper behind here. Would be a good idea. Mm. This one will work. Okay, we want to just work on the corner. So we'll go here and bring it up. And bring it up into this side too, and maybe a little on her outfit. And before I get too far into this process, I'm going to check and see if it is going to work with my water. Well, I was going to see if it would work with my water. I first have to find my water. Here we go. Since it's still wet ink, I'm just going to spray a little water on there. See if it'll lift. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Happy about that. Okay. Can't work right there because it, I got it wet. <laughs> Ink does not like water when you're laying it down. So we're just going to put it up in here. It's okay if we get it on her outfit. It's kind of the same color. Go all the way to the edge since we have a awesome book that has perforations there and not a corner that I have to deal with. Okay, we're going to put a lot of ink on this, so we're going to go right up to where we have the dark, darker of the two light blues. But if you'll notice, this dress ink is not going to change much of the color on the um, wood, and if it does get a little blue in spaces, you can always just run a clean um, I use washcloths because I, I have hundreds of them. I, I used to uh, do house cleaning for a living. I ran my own business, so I've got lots of washcloths. So I just use them because why not? <laughs> okay, so we're adding the blues in. Can't touch that side yet. We're just going to keep going up this edge. We're going to put our sheet of paper up at the top up here. Just run it right on those little perforations there. Go over towards the birds. I have to turn the book. I'm sorry. Camera only goes so far. So run them around the birds. 
bring that right up to the edge up here. I want to get that as dark as I can. Over to the corner. If you get a little round circle you don't like, just add more ink to it. <laughs> It'll darken it up. There is a fixative on all of this paper, so it's um, the workable fixative that I sprayed when I did the um, pastel work. So <laughs> that'll do a little something to the ink here. Okay, we want to get close to her hair, but not on her hair. We want to get a nice little ink there. What I want to do before it dries too much is we're going to spray it just here and there and then wipe it up. Okay. We're going to have to let it dry before we put on another color, but we're going to put on a couple of coats. And in between that, I'm going to be spraying it, so I'm going to have to let this dry for a little bit. Okay, that's drying off. You notice it lightened up a little bit, which is fine. We're going to go in with the Stormy Sky, which is darker. Have to get some on there. Tap that off. We're going to put this back in the corner. We're going to go over that. You'll still see the lightness of the little water droplets. Put a little bit more in here too so that gets like a little shadow in there. We can put some on the birdie. You can have a little blue on him too. <laughs> if he doesn't have enough already. Just going to do the corners. The inside of this. that page back there. <laughs> I got ink on my hands. Where the birds are, we can make those darker. This corner. Go up the side. Guess what we're going to do? <laughs> we're going to spray that with water too because you can only spray this when it's wet ink. Okay, wipe it up. And then we'll have to let that dry. I did a little light erasing around our shape up here, which we are going to have to put color into in a little bit. Okay. And I'll dry this and we'll be right back. Okay. So we're going to add a little of this um, pine needles green. It is a very dark green here, but it, I think it would look nice in here. We're just going to kind of 
brighten up some areas. So we're just gonna kind of put it here and there. Pull some up in there. want to run it on the edge. I don't want to get it in our blue clothing. Very softly put this down because you don't want to ink the page. I mean, like I did with the blue when I was really inking. I just want a little touch of it here and there. So we're just kind of setting it down and letting it move across the page on its own. Okay, and we'll go up here towards the top. Just go around her hair a little, around our moon. And I think I will put a little water on that also and we'll wipe that up. Then we will have to work on our moon a little bit. This also mixes the colors together a little bit. Okay. And we will let that dry. <laughs> okay, that's dry. So we have the blue and the green, and we're going to take in a little bit of the um, black soot. Yes, we are. <laughs> what I do with the black one? I don't know. This is close enough. It's brown, but I don't think it has much brown in it. Yeah, okay. We're going to just put this around the edges. So we're just going to go around and just lightly set it in more or less just around the edges here and between the two corners that's what's going to look like so we have the darker corner here a dark corner but not quite as dark as the other so i'm getting a more darker sky I guess but we have a blackbird and I want a dark dark background so you want to put a little in here also just around that edge Now I need a little sticky. 
I'm not sure what I did with it yesterday. I had it out and it's on my desk. This little guy here. We're going to go and do some work around which we don't have too much on here. Our moon. So I'm just going to take it and like draw around the edge of the moon here. Bring some of that in. I'm not sure where that line went here. We're just trying to keep it round. <laughs> There's some dark spots in the moon. So make sure we have some of those in there. Just kind of wiggle it around. Very lightly, by the way. And that kind of looks like the moon. We're going to get that wet also and let it blend a bit. There's a piece on there I don't want on there. So we're just going to get it wet. Give it a couple of seconds to really get into that black and then pull it up. And right up here where we got a little too dark handed there. Okay. And then we'll go around with the pencil and shade a little bit better there. Make sure we don't have any funny color in her hair up here. But I am going to have to go back over where I put the white Posca because I've been spraying and the white Posca will come up with that. Okay, the only other thing we really have to do is her pearls, but I'm going to let this dry and then I'll come back and show you the rest. Okay, so we have a couple colors here. We've got um, Moonstone and Mist, and I also have um, Midnight Black. And like in these areas where I want it to be a little darker here next to her arm, I'm just going to add the Midnight Black which if you remember on the light fast colors is a black blue. So we're just going to put it in to define this going up here. And it kind of brings the branches back out. And then her sleeve, of course, we want to see that. And over on this side, we can bring it up and do the same thing over here to find the branches a little bit better and bring it out that way. The grays are for the moon, which we're going to go moonstone here and just do the edge. almost the same color as what's there but we want to be able to get that edge if you forgot like I did to erase the pencil line that's in there go ahead and do that <laughs> there. And if you want to lighten up any of those areas, you can do that with the pencil t or the eraser too. This is just a regular little eraser. Like that area up there. It's a little dark for me, so 
just going to erase it. Got to be careful. I got too much water on that portion of the paper, so it's peeling up a little bit. Bring the mist in also for some areas. And you're just doing a light touch here because you want the moon to look, you know, out there. There we go. All right. And like I said, we probably have to go over with the Posca. If I get down there really close and look at her hair in some areas because the Posca pen will lift with the uh, water. Okay, that looks all right. We'll add a couple more over here. I'm going to add a little white splatter around the edge. <laughs> My desk. Ah. Okay, so we have to get the um, paint out. I'm going to put something over her and the bird and just do the edges with a little bit of the white paint. So. If I can get my piece of plastic down on the desk without messing with everything that's there and find the paintbrush. Okay. Paintbrush, paint. Not much because I don't need much. A little water. Two little squirts. Paintbrush and a piece of paper that I can put over her face. It's on the back of this. Yeah. So I don't want her that much of the bird can be done, I guess. Okay. So we just mix this and then we're just going to tap it on the edges here. Try not to get it all over every pencil I have on my desk. But it will because that's what it does. All right, and on this side, we can get in into the moon. get some down here and we can put a few in her shirt if it will cooperate <laughs> not that one had bubbles in it that's okay all right so we have a nice little glow going there. We're going to <sighs> set that brush over there. I'm going to go wash them and then I'll be right back. Okay, the last bit. I'm putting a piece of uh, white paint here on my thingy. I've got this tool. Uh, one side is three millimeters, one's eight millimeters. I mean, eight, it's huge on the other side. <laughs> I was going to use this one. And I'm just going to tap it in here like this. Just get the tip of it. And I'm going to go down on these little balls. Okay. 
I make round circles. This is easier for me than to try to um, make perfect circles uh, with my hand. <laughs> So we're just going to go through here, and if you've got the big, big ones, you can use the other end. No saying you can't. And going down her hair here. Can you see that? The beads in her hair. And do the same thing. She's got some up here. I have to get the bigger end to get the big ones. Oops, I didn't get enough paint on it. And she's got some up here. And in here. Do, 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 do. Were there some anywhere else? Those little dots or those centerpieces should fall down when it uh, dries. I'm trying to see if there's any more in her hair here. There's another little one over here. Get it closer to me. Okay, I think that's about it. And then I'm going to take a little pencil and <laughs> I just noticed my hand. I've got it all covered in white paint. <coughs> yeah. Use a little pencil for the ones up here in the gray and just attach those and have them um, floating around. And I kind of liked how it turned out where her hair and she is more glowing than the uh, moonlight that's coming down. I think that looks rather cool. You can also take a white Posca pen. I would do this after it dries and um, draw a little line in between those. This one didn't get much in the way of white. But yeah, after it dries and you don't get acrylic paint over it and make it so it doesn't work. There we go. There. Okay, so those need to be, there's one here too. Hmm. Wow, am I good at this. You should see my hand right now. So I pick it up <laughs> and I'm covered again. All right, so I am going to clean myself up. I am going to take a picture of this after it's dried and I put connection pieces in those little um, dots there and I will leave it at the end of the video before I decide to um, paint my whole room, <laughs> my clothes and everything else. <laughs> so thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and there we'll get a, a little bit better look of her. I just don't want you to see the big mess on my desk. Okay, see you in the next video, guys. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye now. Take care.